full speed corner. Wow. Hi guys, it's DJ here from CozyRC. Welcome to part 3 of the Mini Mono build. In this part we're going to finish the Mini Mono and we're going to maiden run it, so stay tuned.
got the boat finished for the maiden run. This is how the setup looks like. There's plenty of space on the inside. I'm using a 3S 3000 milliamp LiPo and it fits perfectly. I can even shift it a little bit backward and forward. This is where I put the steering servo. I had to make two small cutouts on the deck support to access the screws. This is where I put the receiver. I just route the receiver wire like this. And on the other side, I put the ESC. This is a 50 amp ZTW water cooled speed controller. And the water cooling is picked up in the rudder. On the bottom side over here. Then it goes through the silicone hose into the hull, goes into the speed controller, then it goes out the speed controller, goes through the water cooling coil on the motor, and then it exits the hull on this side. The motor is just not low enough to fit a flush deck, so if I put my ruler and I want to move it, you can see that the water cooling coil sticks out. If you would use the 2948 rocket motor, which I put in the parts list, you will have the same issue because it has a water cooling jacket with the inlet and outlets on the top. So it will also stick out a little bit. So what you need to do is to make a hatch, which has a cutout. So I made this hatch. This is hard foam, which I shaped. And then I put uh, two layers of glass weave on top of it. And on the inside, as you can see, I hollowed it a little bit to make space for the water cooling. This might be a little bit advanced to make for a novice builder, but basically any extrusion will work. You can make it from wood, you can make it from hard foam. Uh, if you make it from wood, you don't need to glass laminate it. So it's up to you. And the way this hatch locks into the hole is... I put a latch in the front. You see? And that grips underneath this deck support. So it goes like this. And then on the back side, I put a screw hole. And then in the hole itself, I put a support which has a M3 insert and I can put a thumb screw. This is an M3 thumb screw and just secures like this. This is how the transom looks like. I made my own trim tabs and turn fins. So these are the trim tabs and these are the turn fins. But if you want to use off the shelf parts, I put them in the parts list so you can buy them instead of making them yourself. The rudder is also from the parts list. It's very cheap, only about $4. And honestly, I did upgrade the prop. I don't use the prop that comes with this drive set because it's a plastic prop and it's not sharp and I don't think it will perform great. So I upgraded to a brass prop. This is a 35 millimeter 1.4 pitch prop. And I also have this prop in a 32 millimeter diameter. Ready to run weight, including the lipo and the hatch, is just 873 grams. So it's really a lightweight. And uh, yeah, I'm stoked to try it out. So let's go to the pond. I'm going to maiden run my mini mono. Very excited about it. Actually, it's very windy today. Not ideal, but I want to try it anyway. So let's tape it up and try. Running a small 32 millimeter prop. That's really. It runs really fun. Let's see if the water cooling works. Steering is 
really good. Yes, water cooling works. Nice, it runs great. Could be faster, but we're definitely going to tune it. So. And it's handling this water pretty good. Nice. Let's do a speed run. Great. All right, that was great fun. Let's open it up. Feels good. The motor is slightly warm, but not hot in any means. The LiPo is also just slightly warm. Let's check the speed. Forty-eight. It's about 30 miles an hour, which is not bad for a small 2600 kV. I will upgrade to a 3450 kV, which I also recommend in the parts list. And on 3S, with a decent prop, I guess you can reach about 40 miles an hour. Alright, second run. I installed a 36mm prop now, so it should give a little bit more speed. Let's see how she goes. Yes, it's faster. Definitely faster. Nice. Wow. Full speed cornering. Awesome. Wow, it handles great. I guess now it's at least 50 plus kilometers now. Full speed corner. Wow, awesome. Never lift, big B. There we go. Awesome. Man, it's a solid runner. Still full throttle. Oh, okay, I had to lift. I know quite many of my viewers are also building one and it's a really fun boat to build and also to drive. It's even better than I expected. Man, it's planted. Great. <laughs> wow. And this is just 3S with a small 2600 kV motor. We're definitely going to upgrade it. And ultimately, I want to try to get 50 miles an hour. Wow, awesome. It's full throttle the whole time. Really pushing the setup now. This corner's great. Okay, let's see. Nice. Even though I pushed it a bit harder, the motor is still not hot. The LiPo is kind of warm. The speed controller is absolutely cold. Let's check the speed. 53. Nice. Wow. That's awesome. 
I had great fun running this little mini mono. The maiden run was a success. So I keep it like this for now, for my sons to play with. But I'm probably going to upgrade the motor, try 4S and go for some real speed. So stay tuned and I hope to see you next time. Bye!